let's understand this problem that on 22nd September PM a ship in DR longitude well a DR latitude is not given the sextant altitude of Polaris was so and so and the time is given by GPS clock if index error was 2.5 on the arc and height of I was 22 meter find the direction of LOP that is line of position and the latitude where it cuts the DR longitude well if at the time that time Polaris bore 002 degree by gyro then find the gyro error and state whether gyro is high or low so let's start with GPS time which is 0 05 hour 21 minute and 08 second well we can assume that uh, this is the chronometer time and there could be some ambiguity in that we want to make sure whether uh, there is ambiguity in and the given time so it could be 0 05 hour or it could be 17 hours in 24 hours format it will be 17 hours and in normal format 0 to 12 hour it will be 0 05 hours so we have this time we can have this time so this will be this 0 05 hour 21 minute 0 8 second or 17 hours 21 minute 0 8 second now we need to apply longitude in time which is 160 degree and 15 minute west so we need to convert this longitude into time well we can do it this way that this is 160 degree and 15 minute west well need to just divide by 15 so we get 10 hours and 41 minute just look at here 10 hour and 41 minute uh, you should also know that if longitude is west GMT is best and LMT is least LMT will be least only when we subtract so I subtract here however once I subtract here from 5 over I cannot do that for that I need to have one day difference well assume that you just take one day so it becomes 24 and plus 5 that is 29 and then you subtract so we get 18 hours and here we get 0, 06 hour 40 minute and 0, 08 second now let's see, see what is the date the date mentioned is 22nd September so here the date is 22nd so if it here here it is 22nd so obviously here it is 23rd and the month is September so let's just keep it this way now we establish the time and the time is 23rd September 05 over 21 minute and 08 second which is the GMT time or universal time so our next target is to find LHA for that we need to have this time GMT time 23 September 05 over 21 minute and 08 second so for 23 and 05 over we need to look in the end black let's have a look in this 23 and 05 the value is 77 degree 25.2 and we need to look in the column of Aries so now let's look at the increment now let's look at the increment table which is for 21 minute and 08 seconds so we just scroll through and I get this 21 minute and 08 second here well there are three columns one is for planet one for Aries one for moon I need to look at the Aries so here in the column of Aries 08 minute I get 5 degrees 17.9 well now we need to just add we can do with the help of Kelsey 
so we can do it this way 77 degree and 25.2 then again press this degree plus then 5 degree 17.9 5 degree 17.9 degree so we get this value 82 degree 43 minute and 6 second which is 0.1 now the longitude west which is given 160 degree and 15 minute well longitude west GHA is best and LHA is least so how to uh, find this LHA we need to subtract because LHA is least so I subtract here from minus 160 degree and 15 minute once I subtract I get this value minus 77 degree 31 minute and 54 second well what minus can it cannot be minus so all we have to do just add 360 degree so once I add 360 degree I get this value 282 degree 28.1 here 28 minute and 6 seconds 6 second is 0.1 minute so we get this value Uh, the next step is to find true altitude well sextant altitude is given 36 degree 18.5 so let's go up here 36 degree 18.5 and index error is 2.5 on the arc so 36 degree 18.5 index error is on the arc minus 2.5 so we get 36 degree and 16 minute now dip height of i which is 22 meter again let's cross check here height of i is 22 meter so let's come back and look at the table here height of i just is the portion of that uh, table which is given in the first page of albanic so 22 meter it is minus 8.3 and dip correction is always subtracted so we get 36 degree 7.7 that is the apparent altitude now we need to look at this uh, table apparent altitude so in this table just part of that well uh, this is about sun and this is for planets and the first point of Aries so apparent altitude is 36 degrees 7.7 36 degrees 7.7 .7 from 35 and 37 between the two it is minus 1.3 so I put minus 1.3 and we get this value which is 36 degree 6.4 minute so now let's look at this that LHA is 282 degree 28.1 we enter these tables 282 degree 282 degree well it's not here then we go to another table then another page 282 degrees 280 and 282 that means here 282 degree so a0 we can pick up which is 1 degree 18.9 and in the same column we need to see the latitude well latitude is not given however we have found the true altitude let's just go back here true altitude is 36 degree 6.4 so our latitude will be in this range only we'll use as latitude now so here 36 degree 30 and between 30 and 40 a1 is okay let's check the column 282 degree this one this one and here 30 is 0 0.5 and then month month was september in the month of September come here 0 0.9 so we have these values 1 degree 18.6 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 we add together well addition you got to be careful because uh, this is uh, 0 degree and 0 0.5 minute this is 0 degree and 0 0.9 minute uh, I think I should show you with this Kelsey thing so this is say 36 degree and 6.4 minute now I add this plus 1 degree 1 degree and 18.6 18.6 
plus 0 degree and 0 0.5 0 0.5 minute plus 0 degree and 0 0.9 degree so we get 36 degree 26 minute and 24 second which is 26.4 and then you subtract minus 1 degree all right so we get 36 degree 26.4 and this is the observed latitude it should be also noted that the latitude will be in northern hemisphere so we write north latitude now azimuth is 0 0 0.8 degree let's look at this azimuth thing latitude is uh, uh, 40 and here in this column it is 0 0 0.8 282 in this column yep 20 and 40 20 somewhere here we can round off there is no need of any uh, special interpolation we just take this value 0 0.8 and this is in this column of 280 and 289 So azimuth is 0, 0 0.8 and in the question the polaris bore 0, 0, 002 degree gyro. So it was 0, 0, 0002 degree gyro but actually 0, 0 0.8 so the gyro is 1.2 degree high and the position line obtained can be worked out with uh, just a minute is 0, 0 0.8 and you add 90 degree then becomes 0, 090.8 0 and then you add 180 degree further in this then it is 27.8 degree that is how the position line can be obtained now a rough sketch suppose this is the observed latitude and this is the dr longitude your position line is 0, 090.8 0 so similarly here some somewhat like this of course not to the scale so this is the position line because azimuth is somewhere here this is the azimuth of pole star which is 0, 0 0.8 less than a degree of course uh, this is just the rough sketch to explain the concept uh, let me explain a few concept here the position of polaris is changes on yearly basis and the polaris tables are recomputed each year using mean position of polaris for the year in 2012 the declination was this much 89 degree 19 minute and 8 second and in 2000 it was 89 degree 15 minute and 15.2 second it is because of uh, earth's precession well it takes approximately 26,000 year cycle where the axis also rotates there is a slow rotation of the axis and we call it as axial precession or precession of equinoxes because of that the chip position of polaris also changes and that's why the tables are computed on yearly basis 